Hi you guys, welcome back for our daily practice questions. As always, you know I like to get into my introduction and disclaimer before getting started with our questions for today. So for those of you who are familiar with me, hey y'all. For those of you who are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Dr. Brittany Weinstock. I am a family nurse practitioner and I'm the founder and CEO of The Nursing Studio. I provide resources, tools, review courses, review books, one-on-one -on -one sessions, and more to assist nurses as well as nurse practitioners with success on their boards as well as in practice. I've been doing this since 2015, assisting nurses and nurse practitioners internationally with exam success, and will, I would love to assist you as well if needed. Disclaimer, you know I like to get into this with my reminder that we know there's no absolutes in medicine. We treat on a patient-by-patient -patient basis, and any of the questions that you see here, I have designed and created based on the current guidelines being tested on the ANCC as well as AAMP exam. Now, any other videos that you see here, if I am teaching on things that we currently do in practice, I will always say that so there's no confusion. So with that being said, let's get into question number one for today. And before we get into question number one, I just want to throw this out. I don't know if you saw my post, but I am doing a QBank beta group. Now, we've been talking about it. Y'all asked about it. And my... Um, Practice question QBank will be launching soon, but I want to get some final um, feedback from you guys. So I am doing this for 10 people in a beta group so that I can get feedback on the rationale format out of two, which ways do you like it better? And two grading and scoring formats just to get your feedback. So with that, if you are joining the beta group, you will be able to get access for $50. Um, what that includes, there are 10 mini quizzes and two full exams um, designed for ANCC as well as AAMP. So if you are looking to join that, uh, the registration is up, check out the post. And there is also a link in the description and access will be released on Wednesday, August 7th. All right, you guys, let's get into question number one for today. Question number one states, a nurse practitioner notes a diastolic murmur at the base of the heart. What is the best diagnosis based on these findings? Is it A, mitral regurgitation, B, mitral stenosis, C, aortic regurgitation, or D, aortic stenosis? Take a moment and tell me what you got in the comments, you guys. All right, so you know I always recommend reading the stem of the question first because it allows you to slow down to ensure you're answering what is even being asked, right? So here it says, what is the best diagnosis based on these findings? And you know my rule. If it's talking about a diagnosis, you need to run it back and see what the assessment findings are showing you, right? So here, um, this is strictly a murmur-based question. It's a diastolic murmur that the nurse practitioner notes at the base of the heart. So y'all know I say, make sure you know systolic versus diastolic, and then know the location, and you'll be able to get these questions correct every time, as well as in practice, right? So diastolic murmurs. So you know Brittany's brilliance. I always say sassy systolic says men really are stupid, right? Men really being mitral regurgitation are stupid being aortic stenosis. And then diastolic are the opposite, right? So let's look at the location. It's at the base of the heart. So you need to know whether aortic, where aortic is location, located and where mitral is located, right? So aortic is located at the base and mitral is located at the apex of the heart, right? Because the aortic region is higher up than mitral. And I know that we, you know, have pulmonic, tricuspic, et cetera, but for these questions, this is what you need to hone in on. So here it's asking for the base, so you know it's going to be an aortic um, murmur, right? And then we said diastolic. Now, aortic stenosis, based off of sassy systolic, is a systolic murmur. So this would be C, aortic regurgitation, right? Because it's diastolic. All right, question number two. A nurse practitioner notes a systolic murmur at the apex of the heart. Based on these findings, how should the nurse practitioner diagnose? Is it A, mitral regurgitation, B, mitral stenosis, C, aortic regurgitation, or D, aortic stenosis? Tell me what you think. So stem of the question here states, based on these findings, how should the nurse practitioner diagnose? So again, we're going to take it back. We see that it is a systolic murmur at the apex of the heart. So again, sassy systolic says men really are stupid. So mitral regurgitation and aortic stenosis. So we know it has to be either A or D, right? And this says that it is located at the apex of the heart, right? 
So that is mitral, right? Because the base is aortic, apex is mitral. So your answer is A, mitral regurgitation. And if y'all struggle with murmurs, go check out my murmur video. I'll link it in the description too to help you. But if you're searching for it, just go to my playlist because I have so many videos. I have them grouped together. So under the playlist, there is a um, section for anemia and murmurs. And it has the murmur video as well as um, murmur practice questions as well as soap notes um, examples for that. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's go to question number three. But again, this would be a mitral regurgitation. And then lastly, question number three, a nurse practitioner notes a diastolic murmur at the second intercostal space. Based on these findings, how should the nurse practitioner diagnose? Is it A, mitral regurgitation, B, mitral stenosis, C, aortic regurgitation, or D, aortic stenosis? Take a moment, tell me what you got. All right, so here, stem of the question, based on these findings, how should the nurse practitioner diagnose? All right, so we need to look back again. So it's a diastolic murmur at the second intercostal space. Now, if you remember, our first question was a diastolic murmur. Remembering, I tell you, Brittany's brilliance is sassy systolic. Men really are stupid, being mitral regurgitation and aortic stenosis. So diastolic is the opposite, right? So it's going to be mitral stenosis and aortic regurgitation, right? So it's going to be either B or C for this. And then it is at the second intercostal space, which is aortic. So again, it's C, aortic regurgitation. Now, I did this this way because I want you to learn to gear your mind for however it may be presented to you, right? So they could tell you it's diastolic at the base of the heart. They can tell you it's diastolic at the second intercostal space. But that all should bring you to the same diagnoses of aortic regurgitation. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you know systolic versus diastolic and be sure you know where the aortic and mitral locations. Again, spend time, know all of the locations, uh, you know, tricuspid, pulmonic, all of those. But for these style questions, make sure that you know aortic and mitral as well. You know, that's your primary, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you found this helpful. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share with whoever you may think may find this beneficial as well. But y'all make sure to meet me back here. If you need any of the resources I offer, feel free to reach out to the nursing studio by giving us a call at 803-400-6864. You can also shoot a text message to this number or shoot us an email at the nursing studio, the number one at gmail.com. The things that I offer, I do have a review book, both ebook and paperback option. Of course, once you have purchased the ebook, you have immediate access on any device that you um, pull it up on, and then the paperback will be shipped to you. There is an independent self paced review, all virtual access for family and adult GRO, designed for both exams. That is also linked in the bio of this channel, along with the, the two review book options are linked in the bio of this channel. The website is also linked in the bio of this channel. Our next group five week um, intensive review will be in September. So that uh, will be coming out soon. Again, as I mentioned previously, we do have um, my Q Bank beta group. So if you want to be uh, a part of the 10 to get in and get access for $50 um, instead of the, the full price, um, join us. And that link, again, I'll add it in this, the description, but it's also linked in uh, the last post that I did. And then if you are looking for any one-on-one -on -one sessions, I offer three. I always say reach out to us so that we can gauge what you truly need because all of the one-on-one -on -one sessions are customized. So one option is if you have a particular weakness, um, so you can book a session for one to two weaknesses um, per session. You can book an exam readiness assessment or you can book the custom package where you initially receive a pretest. I gauge where you are. I structure a study plan based off of the time that you state that you want to a lot to study. And I work alongside with you during that duration of time to take you to a successful exam. All right. But as always, you guys, make sure you meet me back here. Happy studying. Bye, y'all.